Hello boys and girls, welcome back. This is Mr. Ritt, the Howard Elementary PE teacher. In this session, we're talking about striking skills with a racket or a paddle. And this is part three, the backhand. Let me show you just a little bit of the result here. Uh, in purposes, I use, we use a paddle a lot in the gym with a lot of kids for safety. For this demonstration, I'm gonna use a racket and a bouncy ball. Let me put this paddle over here get started. So the backhand, it's a lot of fun. It's harder than the forehand because you only use, you have less muscle and you use it 25% of the time instead of 75% of the time. All right, that was a lot of fun. Let's go over, there's three parts. You've got top spin where you're a little farther away. Then you have underspin and then the volley. Uh, top spin, it's the same con concept as, as the forehand. Uh, you go from low to high. When you contact the ball, the, your racket face needs to be parallel with your target, and then you lift it. That's one-handed. With a two-handed backhand, which a lot of people do, it's the same concept. The racket face is here, and then goes over your shoulder. So either way, you need to try both. I think it's important that you work on your backhand even though you don't use it that much. 25% uh, of the time still is a lot in playing tennis. Okay, first progression is just to bounce and push. Catch it. Try that again. Bounce and push. Again, I'm showing opposition. I'm stepping with the opposite foot. Two bounces. One, two, and push. Let me try that with a two-handed backhand. Okay, next progression is to do it with three bounces. One, two, three, and catch. And then the challenge is to do it continuously, which is a lot of fun. Next part is when you get closer to the net, in my terms, the wall. Uh, they call it understand. You just kind of push the ball. Again, you want to keep the stability in your racket face by keeping it flat to your target. So first progression is just to push it. Try it with two bounces. One, two. Three bounces. One, two, three, and then continuous. I'm real close to the net. I just need to push the ball over the net. Lastly is the volley. When you get real close to the net, again in the game of tennis or pickleball, you can volley it. You don't have to let it bounce. So I want to get real close, create stability in the racket, maybe tilt it a little for an angle instead of flat and just push it a little. Let the ball and the racket do the work. Again, progressions, you want to start out just with one and catch it, two and catch it, and then three and then continuous. Alright, let me play the whole game here. I'm going to start out far away and use my ground stroke, top spin, then I'm going to move in and to hit underspin, I'm gonna work my way up to the net and do volleying. Oh, that's a lot of fun, boys and girls, but it takes a lot of work. So if you have a garage somewhere, you can hit it against someplace, you should have a lot of fun and it will pay off because you always win against an opponent, but against the wall, it always comes back. Good luck, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out.